Ahoy! Welcome back to Adventure Senna. I'm currently chilling in Hood River. Today we're going to be staying at a getaway. They're a, so, sort of like a tiny cabin. Uh, these ones are supposed to be about roughly an hour and a half to two hours away from major cities. So this is the Portland getaway. It's actually in Glenwood, Washington, about an hour north of Hood River, which is in the Columbia River Gorge. So about two hours from Portland. It's about two and a half hours from where I live. So uh, looking forward to checking it out. I just had some local wine, some Columbia River uh, Valley wine. I got a bottle of that that I'm going to enjoy later today. Uh, also going to be making some chicken yakitori. Going to be working on my book, working on some YouTube videos, and just trying to disconnect. So this is more of a vlog of just me enjoying my time out here, and I hope you all will enjoy the uh, trip as well. Tiny mushroom. Still snow up in the mountains there. Hopefully it's not too snowy where we're going because all I've got is the smart car. Pro tip, you should probably check the weather before coming out to the getaway campsites. They're pretty far out here. Certainly wasn't intentional, but it is full on snowing right now. I've just arrived at my tiny cabin. Welcome to my getaway cabin. Today we're gonna be checking out getaway brand of cabins. Mine's named Nan. Each cabin's named after family and friends of the people who run the company. Hey there, pup. She's gonna get cold pretty quick. So, I'll just be kind of checking this place out, relaxing. I'm gonna use this time to work on some videos and work on my book that I'm gonna be publishing later this year, so. Hope you all will kind of enjoy this vlog. I think later on tonight I'm going to try and get this little grill started and maybe have some yakitori. This one's having fun. That's my neighbor's shack. Looks like nobody's there. Hello. And there's the other neighbor's shack, which someone is actually there. And the adventure wagon here. So I'm about to unload the adventure wagon and get myself settled in here. All right. Grand reveal. Come on, Kogi. Ooh. So the bathroom, pretty small, nothing too exciting in here. Quite a nice setup. Everything's really nice. I like the wood finish on everything. Let's see out here. Let's see the smart car, I think. Where is she? Down there. You've got kind of everything that you need here to cook and eat with. S'mores kit for five bucks, huh? What else you got? Nothing. Storage space. Russia. The White House is urging President Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, to head to Lviv for his own safety. Well, sounds like the news is not good in the world, but that's not what you're coming out here for, really, is it? So I got the two bed, which mainly because I wanted a different space to relax in versus to sleep in. So here I'm on the lower bed. I get a light. It's about for my dog to chill. And I can take in the beautiful snowy forest. Now this loft is pretty cool. And so I was basically just coffee and a filter and I've got some hot water here that I'm gonna pour. So. If you're wondering that's just a chunk of butter for cooking later. here chilling by the fire pit. No fire just yet. I'll probably start one in a bit before it gets too dark. Kolga here is just exploring a bit. Let's see if I can find her. <laughs> so, looks like we got some neighbors over there now. They're peaceful out here. I'm just enjoying a bit of coffee.
Ahoy! So, I've had enough time to kind of get settled in a little bit here. I've now got my shit all over the place. All my cooking stuff is over there. Um, I've got all my tech stuff I'm going to be working on. My laptop a little bit. I know this place is supposed to be so you can disconnect, but it's a great opportunity for me to work on the passion projects that I have going on, like my book and also my other YouTube videos that I have to edit. So, a little something to spice up this cabin video. I decided I wanted to try a unique fruit. So we've got here some red bananas. Just called reds. So I'm gonna give one of these a try and uh, see if they're any different than a real banana, like a regular banana. I'll also say this one has a kind of unusual shape. It's a little triangular almost. You can see that. Oh yeah, there's like an orange tint to it. It's not just the lighting in here, it's actually slightly oranger. Oh yeah, you can see that yellow. Much more fruit flavored, it's like tangy fruit almost. Very tasty. These are definitely slightly different tasting than a yellow banana. I think they're a little bit better. Anyway, this banana, exceptional. Um, as far as bananas goes, I guess I have to give it high marks. It's probably a good four out of five. These cost the same as yellow bananas. Give them a shot. So they kind of give you this getaway guide to keep you busy and give you ideas for how to entertain yourself. It's almost like a coloring book. Sudoku, meditation exercises, instructions for how to build a fire. Cool stuff to do within a reasonable drive of the camp itself, so if you wanted to explore. I ended up spending most of my time at the getaway cabin listening to music and working on my book. Once it began to get dark, I decided to start up the fire and cook some chicken yakitori. Overall, I have to say that the getaway cabin experience was really cool and unique, but it was on the expensive side. And you can have a similarly magical experience rustic camping anywhere in Washington or Oregon. But for those in the Columbia River Gorge or Portland metro area who rather not rough it, clamping with getaway cabins is a pretty solid option. As always, thank you for watching Adventure Senna. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notify bell.